All right, well, I thought I'd make a second video on this uh, because I'm not sure if people quite understand what I was seeing in the first one. Uh, dialectic grease is often misused or misunderstood. First of all, dielectric means die, stop the flow of electricity. It does not conduct electricity. It does not help electrical uh, properties connect better. Um, it actually is a non-conductive grease. So a lot of people misuse it. They think, hey, I've got a bad connection. So they grab the dielectric grease and they coat it all over something and they just shove the connector back together and they wonder why it doesn't work or whatever. Okay, they figure the dielectric grease is like a fix-all. Okay, it's not. And this is what I didn't really clarify in the last video. Again, this stuff was used initially to uh, as a tune-up grease, they used to call it. And you would get this and put it all over your spark plug boots to keep them from sticking to the spark plug. We used to have a lot of problems with spark plugs. You, the, the boot would tear trying to take, out the, take off the spark plug. So using dielectric grease kind of solved that issue. Well, now they're coating a lot of electrical plugs with it's either dielectric grease or regular grease i really don't know i had like i'm not a chemist or engineer or whatever so but a lot of things are being coated with dielectric grease and the reason that they're doing that is not because it helps the the electrical uh connection as much as it does keep the contacts clean so they'll coat things with the dielectric grease and then connect them together. You might see it underneath your dash or something like that. And I wasn't really thinking about that when I made the video the first time. I was talking about making a bad connection good. So if you have a connection issue, the probably the worst thing you can do is just shove a bunch of this on it and plug it in. It's probably not going to solve the problem. It's just going to lubricate it and keep it from getting more I'm gonna say corroded because it's just gonna keep the elements out that's really all it does okay so if you have a bad connection what I do to solve a bad connection problem is I use this right here I'll actually clean off if it has dielectric grease on it already usually it's not gonna have a bad connection but if it does I'll clean everything off of it I'll clean whatever the bad whatever the stuff is off there I need to get the corrosion off first so I'll use this electrical contract cleaner this stuff works amazing okay you use this it'll clean off bad connections I had an ignition switch that was completely corroded all I did was put in it and it wouldn't work you'd start up the engine and as soon as it run for a second it's it, you wiggle the key and it shut off so I took this, sprayed it inside, moved the key back and forth a bunch of times, and then blew it out with shop air. And that cleaned the connection pretty well. Then after that, I used this stuff here, which very well, it may even have silicone grease or silicone something in it. Almost maybe it's a silicone spray. I don't know. I haven't really read it. But it just says right here, improves electrical properties. So I'll spray that inside the ignition switch, move the key around a bunch of times, and same thing, I'll, I blew it out. And it never, ever since then, it, it ever had a connection issue. So what I was trying to say is dielectric grease does not conduct electricity. It does not, it's not a solve-all, put it on all your electric stuff that you're having issues with, and it's going to go away. First thing you've got to do is you've got to clean them. Okay, and then if you're worried about them getting uh, some sort of corrosion in the future, personally, because it's dielectric, my fear is that it could get between, like, okay, let's say I've got a loose connection, all right, and the connection is not tight, and I can't get in there and tighten it, but I've cleaned it, okay, and I put some of this on there, and now it's getting great connection. Okay, then 
I want to stop the corrosion, okay? My fear is if I use this, and there's a little tiny bit of a gap in there, okay? Then it will create less connection because this is dielectric. So what I would do, and what I do, and this is all, again, in this video, it's all what I've done that's worked for me. So you can do whatever you want to do. It's just understanding the product is what I'm trying to say. Is I will take regular grease because on automotive connectors, most of them are meant for oil and stuff like that to get on them. So I will use regular regular grease a lot of times and I'll put it on the area, okay, and then keep the corrosion from coming back. If you want to use dielectric grease, I'm sure that would probably work as well. Um, if you're dealing with something like electronics, okay, then that's when you don't want the two pins or whatever that you're, let's say you've got a, a row of pins, you don't want to use like a conductive grease on that area and you want those pins to connect and not corrode, okay, it's not going to help the connection of them, but it'll stop the corrosion from entering in by having dielectric grease on them. So some guys use it for that. They use it to put on a connection. They put it right on the connectors even, and they'll put it right on the connectors, and as long as the connection is really nice and tight, they have the dielectric grease on there, it'll stop the corrosion from entering into the area. So that's fine too. But is thinking that it's a fix-all, like some sort of thing that you can just smear all over stuff and, and uh, it'll make it connect better is really not necessarily true. It, you got to have a good connection. If you don't have a good connection, it's not going to work. This just will, what guys will use this for is to stop the corrosion from entering. Okay, that's all it is really. It It doesn't. It doesn't make something connect better. People think dielectric, for some reason, I don't know. I, I always understood dielectric means stop the flow of electricity. But a lot of people don't understand that that's what it means. So, anyway, if you're using it and you know that and have that in mind, then you know what you're doing, you're fine. But somebody on the internet who watches, you know, a bunch of videos, they think, oh, I'll just smear this on there and it'll just solve the issue. It may not. You have to clean it. It has to be good connection. If you don't have a good connection and it's not fully connecting together, um, then that's your problem. You need to solve the problem by cleaning the connection, which this here does and this here does too. And the reason I like this, okay, maybe it has same things that DG has in it, okay, but it's thinner and it, I don't know, it, cleans it it's you can scrape off by taking the plug and unplugging it putting it back on it'll actually remove help remove that rusted parts this is loosens rusted parts all kinds of stuff so it's you know something like this works i spray this on after i've used this and man uh, my connection solves or uh, problems are solved and then if you wanted to use dielectric grease after that to stop the corrosion from entering in you can or regular grease depending on what it is and you think about a few things I, I these are the types of things i think about okay dielectric grease is silicone this is silicone what did armor all do to your dash and that was silicone on plastic i don't know those are things that i think about okay and is it going to corrode or erode the plastic faster than regular grease or is regular grease going to erode it faster than the other and also you're dealing with let's say a rubber seal another guy mentioned something about that rubber seal sometimes those little rubber seals um don't like the petroleum that's in regular grease it's from there it's all your preference i use this to clean it i use that to to finish cleaning it and lubricate it and then I'll decide after that what to use over it. And I was just kind of like, well, sometimes I'll just use regular grease. Well, sometimes I might even use dielectric grease, but I know that it doesn't help make it connect better. It doesn't. It just keeps 
the moisture out. So keeps the moisture out, keeps the um, keeps. It's really good for using on a, something gets salt, salt water. So if you've got a trailer connector and you've cleaned it already, and you want to keep the salt water out, you could use this. Or if you feel like the regular grease or something like that is going to be better, then you know, use whatever you want to use after that. So anyway, some guys will say not to use this, to use regular grease. Some guys will say to use regular grease. It's all That's all controversy from there. Um, I feel like sometimes the regular grease, if I've got a little bit of a potential problem with the electrical contact, Okay, a problem to contact. I'm not talking about one that's clean and new. If it's clean and new, you could probably use this and be fine. But if it's old electrical contacts that are kind of jacked up, maybe they're not connecting very well, I feel like regular grease might help better. That's just the way I do it. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys understand that what I'm talking about is dielectric does not conduct electricity. And, and that's all I'm really trying to say is people misunderstand that. They don't know that it doesn't connect electricity i mean anyway all right talk to you in the next video please like share and subscribe